shalt not go. Something is rotten in the state of Denmark. In my mind's eye, Horatio, he was a man. Taken for all in all, I shall not look upon his like again. Uh, you may know Eddie Izzard best for stand-up comedy, but she is also acclaimed for dramatic performances foils, from London's West End to Broadway and beyond. And now after a triple extended New York run, Eddie is bringing her one-person uh, production of Hamlet to the Chicago Shakespeare Theater, playing 23 characters in the show. It opens tomorrow. It'll run for two weeks at the Chicago Shakes Courtyard Theater at Navy Pier. Actor, comedian, activist Eddie Izzard joins us. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Great to be asked to come in. Um, I'm excited to uh, bring Hammers in. It's it, it's such an interesting uh, production, uh, and your decision to do this as a one-person show well, fascinated me from the moment that I heard it. The decision is, if you think about it, I have been trained in a very unusual way. Um, if anyone knows about it, I was actually studying accounting when I was at university. And then I wanted to act when I was seven years old. So acting was being the big love. And then I had to go through all this different thing. I had to go to university, certain parental pressure. And then I had already got said, no, dramatic acting is not for me. Concentrated on comedy because I loved it. Monty Python influence. I was a street performer. I was a stand-up. But acting was always my big love. So, But I wasn't on the list, you know, the list of who should we, who should yeah. we build a, a Hamlet production around. Right. So I'm not on that list. So I put myself on my own list. <laughs> <laughs> so you created your own yeah. little cubby hole for that. How, is it liberating to play all of the characters? I tell or, you, yeah. It, or is it exhausting? It is both. It's both yeah. those. Yeah. It is very tough. It is. Um, I have to do honor to all the characters, so all the arcs are playing at the same time. So as you switch from one character to another, they're on a different trajectory on their arc. And then there's the whole arc, the super arc of the, of the play. So to make that all land with Selena Cadell, my director, we worked very hard to make that work. My brother, Mark is my older brother, doing the adaptation, which we already done on Great Expectations, which was a big hit a year ago. And so um, it's working. The New Yorkers loved it. We thought we'd bring it into Chicago just before we go off to London. Yeah. Yeah. And a little mini world tour of this, but but people are, are really loving it, and and I, I'm loving doing it. It's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, the best work I've ever done in my life, but it's working. I've seen many productions uh, through the years, and I'm wondering how close is your version to what good old Bill Shakespeare himself uh, actually wrote it. It, it. I think Shakespeare would like this. It's If you know really the history of Shakespeare, there's a, there's a first quarter and a second quarter. First is two hours, second is four hours. I think he rewrote it and added a lot of material in. My brother has, has pulled it back down to two hours, so it's not the full four length, but then sitting down and watching four hours or three and a half hours of, uh, of Hamlet is tricky. So, But it is it is true to the word. Great pure, the beauty of the poetry is all there. There are certain things which are funny in it, but that's just because they're funny characters yeah. and certain funny scenes. But that's it. It is the tragedy of, of Hamlet. Is there a certain prestige in doing Shakespeare for an actor? Oh, definitely. Um, um, it, you know, I was, I'm severely atypically dyslexic. That's my official title of my dyslexia. So I was very intimidated by Elizabethan verse. American citizens might think, well, this is a tricky thing for us, but the Brits grab it easily. No, we, we, we struggle with you it as well. You have as much of a hard time as, as we much do. much a hard it? time. <laughs> what is he talking about yeah. here? But it is, we have done an accessible uh, a version of it that is true to William Shakespeare, and kids from 9 to 90 should enjoy the drama of it, be moved by the drama of it, and occasionally laugh, because there are occasional laughs in. But when we went on sale in um, Chicago, it was uh, we broke the box office records on the first day. So. Oh, that's fantastic! Yeah, I think people are going to be so curious to see you. And plus, I mean, you've got some Chicago history here. Yes, I've seen you do your stand-up uh, many times from the here. George Theatre, I think, way back. The Royal when. George Theatre. Yeah, I, I want to say I saw you at the Chicago Theatre also. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, down, I've downtown as well. Played many times in Chicago, and it's great to be here. You've got such a reputation, and uh, to come into London because normally you'd come from London and come the other way around. Yeah, I right. do things in a different way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a kind of slightly 21st century person. Yeah. But London's going, oh, you've been to New York and you've been to Chicago. And I thought that was a wonderful feather in our cap to do. Yeah. And at the um, Shakespeare Theatre Company, they, Ed Hall said, why don't you come on in? So with three weeks' notice, we suddenly, we're coming, oh, we're coming, really? we're coming. Oh, really? fast. Yes, yeah, it's been really fast. And I like moving like I that. Wanted, I wanted to ask you, uh, I, I believe it was 1985 in which you came out as trans-fluid. 
uh, and you've been very open about it, seemingly very comfortable with it all, but yeah. now it's become a bit of a controversial hot button subject again. I wonder, is it is it easier for you now? Does it not make any difference? Uh, how, how, how are it, you? It, it is way easier. I mean, if you are uh, a right-wing politician or the people working behind the scenes of the right-wing politicians, what you want is to stir up the culture wars. You want to stir up this, oh, there's a problem here. There's, there's, there's um, people making very loud noises on the Internet about it. But really, things are a lot better than they were. When I came out in 85, no one was talking about yeah. it. Now people are talking about it in quite a heated way, but at least they're talking about it. And uh, the bottom line is women's rights... Uh, human rights and trans rights are human rights. Um, kind of end of story. We have to make this work. But uh, if you're further right wing, you want to set these two against each other, and that is a, a sad thing in this time. But trans people do exist, and, and I've just been out for almost 40 years now. So I'm just, I'm just myself. I'm being my open, my, uh, I'm being truthful about what's in, in this world yeah, right. of political lies. I'm just saying this is the this truth. This is who I am. This is who I am yeah. since 1985, um, and I'm not taking up anyone else's space. I'm just saying this is me. So please let me be who I, I feel I am. Yeah. Well, I mean, and kind of perfect that you're doing 23 roles that you can switch around. And so, also right? the female giving honor <laughs> to the female characters, Ophelia and Gertrude, as well as the yeah, male characters. Exactly. Uh, it is. It is uh, Hamlet. It is at the Chicago Shakespeare Theater starting tomorrow, running through May the 4th at their Courtyard Theater there. It's not going to be extended because Zeddy said it's going uh, off to London, but uh, get your tickets now uh, to see this uh, amazing performance. And thank you so much for coming. It's a real pleasure to see you, Eddie Izzard. All right, we'll be right back after this.